After an entire week of will he, won't he, we found out on Friday that he did. Tim Beckman left Toledo for Illinois. Today, the university shifted the focus back to basketball with a men and women doubleheader. First up, the men hosting 1-7 Loyola, Illinois. Five minutes left in the game. Juice Brown forcing the turnover. That's Dominique Buckley pushing up court. Great pass over to Ryan Pearson. Two of his 20 points. Rockets up five. But Loyola won't go away. Ben Averkamp, short jumper. UT lead down to one. Less than a minute left. Christian Thomas and one. The Ramblers take the lead 54 to 53. It's now a tie game under 10. Averkamp gets a good look. Reese Holiday gets a great block. Ball goes out of bounds, goes to Toledo. 1.2 seconds left. Matt Smith inbound off the Jumbotron scoreboard. Goes out of bounds. Loyola gets it under their own basket. Averkamp for the win. It's good. He beats the buzzer. Two of his game high 31. UT blew a 14 point second half lead and falls 57 to 55. This team, it has, I've said many times, they're fun to coach, they're great to be around, but the last two games, we have not performed or played like we had prior to that. It was very deflating. Um, Matt played pretty good defense on him, but he was a good player. He got the shot off and knocked it down. The women had their 22-game home win streak snapped on Thursday in the first half of the doubleheader today. No worries against Cleveland State. Starts Yolanda Richardson inside, two of her 11. UT up 24. Game in hand, Central's Brianna Jones. Nice baby hook inside. She had six off the bench. And it's Pandora Gilboa, freshman Stephanie Recker. Nice up and under. She had seven points, six boards. Every Rocket scored. UT wins 81-42. to I think it brings us closer together, and it builds up their confidence so then when their time comes, regardless of what game it's going to be, they'll be ready to go. There are kids off our bench, like Riley McCormick, like Brianna Jones, like Stephanie Recker, that we need desperately going forward. But because of the caliber of opponents we played early on, it was difficult to go as deep as we wanted. I'm so glad we had a game like we did today for that opportunity.